Okay, so um, this is the night before the big day, the big push-up challenge extreme. Yeah, so so to remind, it's it's uh, eight forty-five, Tuesday the seventh of April. I'm being accurate because we don't know what day it is. Um, at the moment. <laughs> Dang. Um, day or date or zone country. Um, pretty much like. Uh, about a week ago, I floated an idea of doing a thousand push-ups in a day just with one of the guys, um, young Jamie, who I've, I've never actually met Jamie, he's down Hawke's Bay, bought a gun, um, we're yarning a bit, and pretty much just got talking, like it's one of these stupid fitness challenges that uh, that are, uh, I've got a 5k a day going on at the moment, just on foot, and just, just an idea, just something to pass the time, do something with the boys. Um, I think in the messenger messenger group, so I asked around to a couple guys and, and just said, you know, yada yada, would anyone be interested? Um, I think there's about 10 of us or something in a messenger group. Hmm. So what's your strategy? So my, <laughs> <laughs> so, so my strategy seems to be going completely against what everyone else has discussed. Everyone's going to like take it, seems like they're going to take most of the day. Um, my strategy, and which I wasn't going to tell anyone, is, is I'm going to get up at like 1 or 2 a.m., you know, basically in a, in a few hours, with the theory of you can do a set of 10 every minute, and you're only going to do it for 100 minutes. That's 1,000. So that's... That's it. I, that's it. Simple as that. <laughs> I don't believe I can do that. The other day I did uh, 20 sets of 12 every minute. Uh, and then came upstairs and did a couple more upstairs and sort of belted out what, however bloody many that is, like almost 300, pretty pretty easily. And like you, you're over the course of 20 minutes or so, just over 20 minutes. So um, that's kind of the strategy I'm going to run with. I just want to smash out freaking as many as I can in, in the first real session and get it done. I just thought it would be a laugh. I mean, I don't know. I don't bloody know if we'll be finished, but would, I just had thought it would be funny if, if the guys got up at 6 or 7 o'clock and I was already finished. So that was kind of my strategy. What's your message going to be when you finish by 7 a.m.? Um, shame, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> you lost. <laughs> <laughs> the non competition. Yeah. yeah. The, so we got this this P this we've got guys in it from all over the place. We've got uh in fact I'm probably the only one from Northland. We've got people from down Taronga Bay of Plenty, we've got Brett Gibbs, who's our world champ powerlifter, he'll be watching this video. Just a couple mates doing it, just a couple guys from down Hawks Bay, Jamie's mates and just for a bit of a Laugh, really, that's about it. A bit of male bonding. <laughs> Isolation style? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's about 2.04 a.m. actually got up before the alarm went off because I was living in here in my head, so we're going to get this underway. Um, I don't know. Let's go. Right, so a little bit of an update. We're 50 on 50 minutes in. I've done five sets of five, ten sets of ten, which brings us to 125, and then I did 31 sets of 12, followed by three more sets of ten. So what are we at? 500. We're at 527. Sort of 50 odd minutes in. That's the easy part done as far as I'm concerned because I'm technically over halfway and it's taken 50 minutes. I'm just having some food because the arms are fading already, which I don't know how much this food is really going to help me right now. But um, 
just gonna have a little sort of five minute breather. I'm just watching some YouTube videos and stuff while I do this because every minute you just gotta keep looking at the clock. So, um, and I'm gonna adjust the numbers accordingly as I go through this. I'm not not knowing really. I'm well into uncharted territories, and of course it's about three a.m. So, um, we're just gonna keep going. All right, it's three twenty-five a.m. I'm seven hundred and thirty-five push-ups in. Been going for the stopwatch has been going for just over an hour twenty, so I'm going to get going again in about another minute. Only two hundred and sixty-five left to go, which I should be able to knock out pretty quickly. Been doing it in sets eight, but I've had a couple minute break now, so um, we might be able to get that back up to ten, ten or twelve for a little while and pump out these last few, hopefully relatively quickly. Arms are feeling pretty good. That is a thousand. According to the tally, um, we're at, what am I at? Finish at one hour, 52, 26 seconds. Um, whew, thousands I've been running throughout this. I think that's a thousand. I'm just gonna do a quick tally up and confirmation right now and see. Okay, confirmed numbers I did. Started with five sets of five then 10 sets of 10, then 31 sets of 12, followed by three sets of 10, a little break, um, six sets of 12, 17 sets of eight, another little break, three sets of 12, eight sets of 10, six sets of 10, 10 sets of eight, and finished with one set of nine, which is a thousand push-ups. An hour 52 that took, there is a lot of online challenges actually online, a guy's doing it in an hour, so, um, I mean, I could feel like I could probably certainly shave some time off that, but that was the, the tactic for um, tonight, was simply just to get that done um, <laughs> at an odd hour. Why not make a hard challenge even harder? And um, I can go back to sleep now, and hopefully the boys have a bit of a struggle today. Right, set two of the press-up challenge. Nice one, Sam, for already completing it. Okay, you ready, Luke? First set. Good morning everybody, the sun is up, it's a beautiful day, there's push-ups being done right now, I've been back to bed, I'm feeling pretty tender, pretty tired, um, I think one of the guys, I can't remember who it was, did I just say the time, I can't remember, it's like 10 to 9, one of the guys is just past 5.50, so he'll be Gavin, he'll be He'll be probably the first to finish, I'm going to assume. Well, the second to finish. Um, and we're getting a few other other updates from the guys. I think there's quite a few of them around that sort of uh, 400, 500 mark. Haven't heard from two or three of you yet, but we'll, we'll, I'll keep touching base throughout the day and also update you on a few other things. This is kind of what I had in mind for the early start, was to be able to sit here and enjoy some bacon and eggs in my undies while the boys are struggling we're um so we're three guys are finished already gavin from downhawks bay and pablo who's uh he's in tauranga he's my sister's partner so um we're at like what's the time 9 30 or something something around there 10 o'clock so um and like brett's not doing it to the savo um and i mean the i think a few of the other guys are charging through it sort of midway now okay so it's a 2 30 update um brett is finally underway i think he said he's pretty much cooked his tries already um i think everyone has seems to have a different strategy which is surprising i went for the low reps high number of sets which actually 
sort of seems that you can do it in a shorter time, but obviously with more sets overall. Um, everyone's gone at a much higher rep range than I was at, but I've done it the quickest time to date. So um, I'd expect Brett to do it pretty quick, seeing he's a power lifter, but we'll see where he comes in at shortly. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've been working on um, during lockdown. Right, so here's a custom gun that's going to go out. This is The milling on this is almost finished. Um, this is going to a guy, Ollie. You can see we've still got some black spots. This is where all the stamping goes in for the black resin, just sand it off. That's pretty much about 90% um, like done, really, with the work. The, then, of course, gets a coat of epoxy resin, which really brings all the colour and the grain out. It's going to be a really nice-looking gun. Um, you can see the finish on the sides. It's just sort of a mixed black with clear. I've actually underestimated the demand for like a clear. The reason, I'll show you, this will help clarify. The theory with composite sides, like on these couple of stocks, I've got another one sitting over here, this will be like for a 90. This will be like a red and black, you can see there a lot more colour will come out when this gets finished and polished up. Um, the whole point of the composite sides is to give the ability to really customize colors it also adds a shitload of strength to the stocks as well as um, a hell of a lot of durability and that's why i wanted to go with them um but like i said i'm actually i've underestimated the popularity of a wood grain finish on a wood gun you i didn't think you know i thought if people could add color they would um turns out people don't really want to so that's interesting i'm making a lot of stocks right now um, which are going to be sort of stock items they are going to sit here coloured, ballasted and sort of possibly machined and almost ready to go. So, um, I mean, if you're looking for your own custom gun uh, for yourself, feel free to get in touch. You know, a gun like these are, are usually about 750 bucks, all handmade. The best parts you can get, best shaft, best mix. Um, and yeah, pretty good bloody weapons, really. Nice little jog. Nice little 5k to finish up the day of activities. Hey! <laughs> yep. So on top of today's challenge, um, I know I mentioned in the last video or two about doing a 5k a day. Doing that, this is the 15th day of that. In the first 14 days, I managed to crack a completely unofficial milestone of 100k's. I went 100.3 in the first 14, which certainly puts me comfortably over that 5k a day number for a month so um which i'm pretty buggered so just having a slightly lighter one today and then gonna have a lightish week sort of try to rest a little bit almost and then cram it into the last week and a bit sort of am thinking as well about running a half marathon one day um just for the hell of it really Whew. As Danny does. Protein shake. Complete with proper mug. Going well. Last 10, here we go. Okay, team, here we are. 990 completed. Last 10 to go. It's funny how that, um, even when I adopt the press up position, my triceps want to fail straight away, so. Unlike those powerhouses, Gav and Co, um, I'm not going to finish on 50, mate. I'm just going to try and smack out this 10 and be that done with it. Ups. Here we go. <laughs> 1,000. Good effort, fellas. Awesome. All right, so there we have it. A wrap up of what was a pretty solid challenge. Um, it's the next morning now. I'm just editing up the video. Everyone's feeling pretty tender um, <laughs> from what I can find out. Brett finished in an hour 43, um, it, it was, uh, which was the quickest overall time um, throughout the challenge. Pretty interesting to see the different theories and approaches to it. Of course, some of the guys did it throughout a work day. So, you know, finished in the evening, things like that. Some of us did it early morning. Some of us did it in one hit. Really good fun. Really good bunch of guys. I don't know half the guy. I never met half the guys that were in this group. There was about eight or 10 of us, whatever it was, ranging from up here in Northern all the way through to Hawke's Bay and a good, good three, I think, from down Hawke's Bay, all thanks to Jamie. So, um, cheers, lads. Good bit of fun. Um, I'll probably work on some training tees or something at a later date and work towards the next challenge. I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach.